Hello everybody, my name is Bubble Zest and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, we're once again playing as Germany, attempting to form the Holy Roman Empire. Just begin, shall we? Of course, we'll create an intelligence agency, always useful. We'll start with support, weapons, electronics and industry for our research. Always works out pretty well. Of course, the civs will be moved in more mills and Brandenburg and Sarchen for now. Similarly as well, we're going to drop all of the dockyards building the ships for now, but we're going to continue to build the Type 7 sub. We're not going to put them into the high sea fleet this time, and we're going to do something a little different. But similar to last time, we're going to drop all fighters, all aircraft, put five military factories into motorized, and the rest into guns. Put them at the bottom for organisation purposes. Now of course we're going to deal with Germany's army, all 30 divisions together. Select this one unit in Wilhelm's Harbour and make it independent of the rest. And grab the Panzers, the Motorized, the, the Cavalry, and five Infantry Divisions. There we go. Put them like so. Change the Infantry to be Motorized. There we go. Put the main 19 on the Czechoslovak border. And now we're going to plan the naval invasion of Britain and France. So, for France, we're just going to use three tanks to hit Calais, Dunkirk and deep they'll do fine there they'll be able to rush down paris and capitulate france before they know it we're not going to garrison the french border today for the motorized we're going to have three of them hit the port next to london there they go they can spread out to like dover ports from bristol when they land the cavalry is going to go very high into the north going to hit around glasgow and edinburgh once it lands we'll go to any of these that are free including the ports but also their main victory points and for the main three, they're going to go around Hull. Hopefully one of those ports could be free and we can walk in, otherwise we'll just drive around and so on. And there you go, there's how our motorised will be going today. Just like last time still, we're going to give them Kurt's student, he's very useful. They'll give any other generals you like to the remainder. We're eventually going to make Manstein here, though our field marshal again though, he's useful in that role. But... Yeah, Rommel will be in charge of this one. Gather them all up, put them under a field marshal. Modal's probably the best as he's aggressive assault right now. Next, we're going to focus on Germany's navy, put it all together. Again, focus on the Heisley fleet, merge, give them... Uh, let's give them Gunther instead. Put them on strike force in these three sea zones. The reason why is so that the AI won't initially put them out, so we'll have a blip of supremacy to get in, which is pretty good. Now we'll grab military access from Italy. There you go. Now let's go up to speed 5 and begin. There you go. But before we truly start, we're going to send Erwin Rommel and this one unit to this port here in Italy. It'll be useful later. And of course, before I forget, because someone will likely say, don't forget to assign the Air Force to any general you like. I'm assigning it to Kurt again as he's our Invader General. Disband the Axis, and now don't do focus, because it's time to truly begin. Now it's the 16th, there's a few things we need to do. First we're going to train as many infantry divisions as we can. 22, max priority on one, which will be useful. Grab your new sub, U14 it should be. Give them any admiral you like, and also send them to this port here in Italy. And of course have any future subs deployed to this fleet. There we go. The army we're training up will be more useful when we need to take down the rest of Europe and potentially Canada. It just means we have a slightly larger army. So it's based on how we used cavalry last time, but this time I'm feeling like just spamming out infantry in the war itself. While France will walk in, it doesn't matter. Now anyway, we have 56 political power, so we're going to improve relations with Yugoslavia. And now that we have 50 political power again, we're going to just define the United States. There you go. Now we're just waiting for our relations to be high enough to create a faction with the Yugos. There you go. They're ready to create a faction with us. And you know what? It's not going to be your faction name here. It's going to be D. We're D faction now. As you can see here, the final agreement's been made about the D. There we go. Now, of course, we wait for the Yugoslavia coup, which should happen in a week's time. We're wanting fear of 25, but if it's a civil war, you should probably just restart as it's so early in the game. Hell, if there's a massive jump cut here, maybe you should assume that's what's happened to me. <laughs> and now also we have 10 political power, which is good. We'll start doing the four-year plan. 
keep your justification on the US until Yugoslavia is guaranteed by Britain. When it is, is guaranteed, get rid of it. There we go, Fuhrer Director 25. Now we wait the, for the UK. There they are. At midday, we go. Just to cancel that justification. There we go. Now we walk into the Czechs to get them the peace deal. Ooh, wrong direction. Now we let it into the faction. There we go. Now we plan a naval invasion into this slit between the ports. Once we have space for an invasion, we'll go. Use the cavalry to take Glasgow. Use the panzers for Paris. Let's go. Right, there's the peace deal, just as I believe the independent state of Croatia appeared, but I guess I can't complain about it. Uh, yeah, look, there they are. <laughs> we went very quickly. I think we had some weird glitch that meant the colours of the countries didn't work properly, but whatever, I don't mind that. It's a minor glitch, all things considered. Right, take everything, and today we are definitely going to puppet the Raj. Uh, why not? There you go. There's everyone. End of the Allies, put everyone back together, and we'll send in everyone to Poland. That's why we put those 22 units on max priority. Right, these units are at 20%, all of them are, so we'll deploy them. We give four to Manstein, and the rest, uh, two to her, and the remaining 14 on a order to Ostprusen. There they go. There we go, Romania finally gave in and guaranteed them. Don't know why it took him so long, but whatever. It's not too bad, I suppose. What we're going to do very soon is actually we're going to kick Italy from the faction and justify on them. Right, perfect. Gone right to plan. So we annex everyone. Right, now we quickly, quickly get on the Italian border. We also grabbed a quick justification on Luxembourg, so we'll be back at the war of the Allies before we know it. I'm expecting Canada to guarantee them. Luckily, we still have mill access from Italy, so we can just literally walk around them. And there's the war with Albania. We should be a problem or a competitor for taking... Italy. And in fact, because of it, it means our job's slightly easier. But for now, just try and encircle and run down Italy. Mostly by running down, I mean run to Palermo. <laughs> and there's the end of Italy. We can take everything in one go, I believe. Perfect. Right, now our plan is to take down Belgium, Luxembourg, and Switzerland, and then go for Canada. We're pretty much ready. So, declare war, await for Canada to be called in. Now, quick justifications galore. Once they're done, we'll send everyone over to Canada to get rid of them all. And in the meantime, we'll work on get ridden of getting rid of the Raj.
that worked out, I suppose. Right, we've already started to post Hitler, so we've got it all to do. But now it's just to annex everyone. As a spite, honestly. There we go. Right, I don't know if we can get many of these units home. So I am going to, like always though, change the moment to artillery units. So they're weak and such. There. The main force are already home, but I don't know about the rest. I should unlock a lot of supply first. Now we can't send to China, because China is not actually at war yet, so we'll just send them to the Spain. Itch. Wow, I did not say that in the nicest way, could I? Funnily enough, because of us taking down the majority of their volunteers, they shouldn't actually win the Civil War. I'm expecting the Republicans. Right, we're on time now, so send the tanks and the motorised, because that's the main thing you have supply of, actually. Unfortunately, despite what you may think, no, there will not be a Carlos Uprising. It's not happening, not at all. Garrisons are a major problem right now, but nothing we can do. Like I said, you had the choice whether or not to take the Raj or not, but I wanted to. But it is a major problem for our gun problem. Why we're building so many guns. There it is. Wehrmacht officers challenge Hitler. It has begun. Not only, I think most of the army's still in Canada. No, not too many. But we'll, we're honestly just going to have to forget about them for a while. To change everyone over. Cancel the Lend Lease. May as well make some motorised and armoured battalions for now. There you go. But half of you will be Panzers and half of you will be motorised. Changing over the infantry and motorised to be slightly better. We'll just wait up and get our orc back together. And organise as appropriate. Mostly just focus though on the main army for now. Because unfortunately I doubt the six will be able to get here in time. Nope, not you. You. But of course we'll just build up our orc and go, go, go. Actually, I shouldn't. Yeah. I'm not going to let the AI focus on these units. There. Now we'll have a main front line. Give Manstein his traits. Change over and go. Focus. We're going to do naval rearmament and naval effort. Additionally, at this point, we're going to release the UK as our puppet. Because we don't need to garrison them for a moment or so. And it will save us guns and the like. There. And there they are. Great Britain. Who's their leader? Reginald Williams, that is a very British name. <laughs> ah. Right, like I said, time to go. And one other thing you must do is sharpen air safety regulations. We need it to, to be done. There we go. Nasty national spirit, but oh well. much longer than it should have, but there's the end of the German Civil War, now it's time to secure the new state. And we're hanging the leadership today, I'm not a benevolent god. And sadly, we're going to have to eventually get rid of this army, so what we're going to do is start training up as many units as we're allowed, which is, for some reason, only ten. Hmm. That's annoying, but oh well. Yes, I am fully aware about Austria, but Austria is not the priority right yet. And save your political power, there's a lot of things that actually require political power, except for doing anti-fascist raids, anti-democratic raids, and anti-communist raids. There they go. You're going to get a lot of stability, 2.1% a week. Otherwise, we're saving. And of course, now that we've done their safety regulations, I like, don't think the Hindenburg will be a problem. There you go. It is possible just to reload the save until you get the result that you want though, so I don't feel like you have to get this focus or a national spirit. Right, now it's time for Return of the Kaiser. 
And I'm feeling that adventurous, so let's justify the Netherlands. Remember, they have to feel like they're stronger than you, them to refuse the return of the Kaiser. Again, if you are ever going to make a dupe save, now would probably be the time to do it. There's the return of the Kaiser, and as you can see here, the Netherlands have blocked the return of Wilhelm II. And they have a point, we have other candidates. Right now, it's time for us to do an alliance with the Shade. And what we're going to do is reinstate Prince Wilhelm's right of succession, modernize the succession laws and because i'm feeling special we're going to recall paul there we go now we're finally going to create a faction with austria that means we don't have to delete their troops and we are going to be xd since our last faction was d now we'll get an army back together using like the british troops the austrian troops and the limits of our troops we ourselves can afford there we go that's 14 divisions to start there you go the pro-german sentiment soars in austria Let's get unification. Hey, look at this. The independent state of Croatia kind of still exists. But their units did exist, but nothing else. So, yeah, we really were on the cusp for them. Not that I'm complaining, of course. I <laughs> independent state of Croatia would have been a massive pain if they had been allowed to exist. And now we have this artifact. And yep, no guarantee. Sorry, Dutchy, but your time has come. And there's the end of the Netherlands. Now let's annex them too. Again, can't be bothered with the Dutch East Indies now. There you go. And we now at least have a semi-competent army. <laughs> that has as many expeditionaries as it has Germans. And now with us accepting British naval dominance, it's time for us for an alliance with the Shade. Also known as our own puppet. Yes, we are asking for an alliance with ourselves. Because Hearts of Iron 4, ladies and gentlemen. Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, here's a small one for you. Notice how Bulgaria joined the Tripartite Pact has now joined the Central Powers. <laughs> you can do this for any sort of fun you like. You can name the faction the Ancient and Mystic Society of No Bulgarians and they'll still want to join it. <laughs> now that we've done Alliance with the Shade and got an alliance with our own puppet, we can immediately request restoration of British titles. As you can see here, since the UK is our puppet, we get the amount of relations we need immediately. And we can do other things to improve it if it was that bad, but it's not. And yep, we've joined our own faction for some reason. You want to explain that one? And you must send a liaison in the form of Princess, Princess Victoria Louise. We still lose political power, so that's why I've still pretty much been saving this whole time. There you go, the Hindenburg is a flame in London, and we get the Soviet cipher. Great way to celebrate. So, the Kaiser is dead, long live the Kaiserin, and immediately we can reform the Holy Roman Empire. This escalated quickly, didn't it? We burned down the Hindenburg, we reform the HRE the next day. The same day, pretty much. And there you go, Holy Roman Empire, with Kaiserin Victoria, the Kaiserin of the people. Oh, yes. We're going to get a lot more manpower now. 65k. Well, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> Eventually, the manpower problem should go away. There you go. 2.38 million manpower. Gun problem will be gone very soon just because of how many guns we're building. So, yeah, that's the guide. We've taken over most of Central Europe. We now have cores all the way down to Tuscany, to Savoy, Belgium, <laughs> as I point to the Netherlands, Wallonia. Even Luxembourg and Alsace Lorraine. Funnily enough, no core in Danzig though. <laughs> but yes, I thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Leave any suggestions for future guides in the comments below. Always looking for new video ideas. I want to say this was a really annoying guide to make. Just got really screwed over in the production of it. It could have been a lot better than what I got. But you know, way four works in mysterious ways. I've learned that the hard way far too many times. But until next time everybody. Goodbye.